Hey there everybody, this is Alexa bringing you a training for um, Training Tuesday. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about Tiny Torch because a lot of us are doing Facebook parties and this is an absolutely awesome tool to make your Facebook party a lot easier. Um, if you don't have a Tiny Torch um, login or username, it's free and you can get one through Jamberry. Um, I think I went through a Jamboree link. Anyway, if you don't, you just go to tinytorch.com and log in, uh, set up a login. So um, I'm already set up to log in here, and we'll go from there. So, oops, I don't know why it does that. Okay, here we go. Now I'm ready to log in. Okay, so I'm going to try to make this as brief as possible. Um, so this is when I come in because I came in through the Jamberry system. I usually have Jamberry come right up with all the latest cool stuff that's been posted, which is great. If for whatever reason that doesn't happen, you can just look up for Jamberry on your search bar and um, everything is going to pop right up on your screen that's been posted recently. So it's really great. You can literally just take these things and share it. I forgot an important little step here. First thing you have to have done is up in your profile, set up your profile and link your social accounts. And once you've done that, your social accounts will show up right here. So I can just decide where I'm going to post that and go ahead and either send it now or schedule it for later. I'll get into that in just another second, okay? So I want I do want to show you something quickly here. I'm sorry to jump around, but um, if you're using a free account, you can only have five um, linked social accounts. So I always have my main page, my Twitter, and my um, my Jamberry Facebook page. Now these, the last two, I leave for parties that I'm having online. Now the thing is, I have Brandy's that's coming up this week. Um, the thing is, you can't have more than five. So if I've, say, I've got a party that's already closed out, I just go ahead and remove it. But if I'm adding another one, <clears throat> let's say I want to post to a party that I have going on next week. We've got Susan's Manny Petty Facebook party. I add that on there, and now I have five of five social accounts. So if I were to have another Facebook party going on at the same time, I would either have to get rid of my um, Twitter account or figure out something else. So anyway, the other thing to note is that you can only schedule 15 posts a day, I think it is, in a party page, event page. They don't want people spamming the system, which we kept getting shut down from doing that. So um, you have to choose your posts carefully that you're going to actually put in there. To make a post, you just hit create. It's super simple. You're going to select your image. Um, mine, I have a file um, on my computer where I keep all of my Jamberry stuff. This is my, my marketing tools, etc, etc. Let's see. Um, let's find something fun here. Okay, so say I want to talk about manis. I'm going to pick this picture of this beautiful manicure. And then I'm going to say you want feet that look like this, right? Something, whatever. Put your blog I mean your blog, sorry, I'm a blogger as well. Put your Jamberry account, blah, 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 blah. If you want to tag it so that other people know what it is, so like Petty, Jamberry, that way when people search it pops up. Um, okay, and then you create. I'm going to take those out because I don't want it to actually show up when people look for it since I just made something crazy there. Okay, so let's say I wanted to post this in Brandy's party and Brandy's upcoming party. So I could go ahead and just hit share right there. I select Brandy's business launch, fall business launch. Um, and her party's on Wednesday, so I'm going to say join us Wednesday at 9 p.m. to learn more. Okay? And then since if I was going to schedule that for another time, like say this was part of the party, I would schedule yes and put in the date. I'm not going to show you that right now because I'm going to just go ahead and send it now. And there we go. It is sending right now to Brandy's launch party. It's easy peasy, right? Okay, so now you can see all the posts that you have scheduled to go out. 
um, I had already started doing some Facebook party messages for Brandy. Now um, I I used the 30 minute Facebook party and originally I was doing 15 posts and when Jody and I did her party last week we were like oh my gosh there is way too much stuff going on here so I have I am scaling it back um, the tag team party peeps recommend and they are the Facebook experts they recommend um, six posts so six seven posts with all your key information the most important information and don't forget you can only do 15 a day in a party so when when you want to um, do your schedule out your posts for your Facebook posts the really cool thing about tiny torch is that you don't have to recreate it every time once you've made once you've created a post it's here in your stuff so I you know could decide that the most important ones that I want are always obviously the time to party roll call and I don't really count those as part of the six because they're just hey make sure everybody's here give them a few minutes to get in but then when you want to get into the really important ones like talking about um, mommy and me talking about um, the buy buy three get one free asking questions recruitment the lacquers um, a booking game or, or even a prize game for them to have an incentive to to order something you know whatever it is that you decide the most important things for them to know removal tips all of those kinds of things you're gonna pick out your six or seven most important ones most important things and um, and add them in the party so I have mine numbered so that it's super easy when I'm setting them up I just go in I've already done one and two so now I look for what's my three right now where are you number three right here so welcome to my Jamberry party um, and this one is the uptown funk one that's just kind of fun while everybody's coming in you know give them something to do we like this one because it um, um I know you guys can't see me but I'm actually sitting here at my computer like bobbing my head like the music's playing alrighty anyway <laughs> um, you want the you know to get them excited and then the party mood so this is fun and I really like this one because I don't have to um, change anything at all it is ready to go anytime I put it in a party so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick that baby in Brandy's business launch now I know that this is um, my third post I know that the party is starting at 9 and I've already scheduled the first two intro posts for 9 and um, change it to the date of the party that's important I've already scheduled my post for 9 and 901 I'm gonna put this one for 902 and I don't normally schedule them actually I'm gonna do it for 903 I don't normally schedule them all quite so close together but the first two are just basic posts and I don't want to waste too much time into the party without giving them actual um, information so I try to get those first three in there really fast and then my next party post you can see there's my three posts 9 901 903 then my next party post is going to be information and we're going to get into it from there so um, like I said I have I was using 15 I have way too many posts on there so I'm going to be shortening this down and pulling out what I think are the most important um, things that people really need to hear about when they are in a quick 30 minute Jamboree party um, do I not even have a post number four? I must. I don't. There it is. Okay. So this is important. It's what is what is Jamberry? You want to tell them about that right away, right? So just make sure that there's nothing. Okay, I don't have anything specific about my um, hostess or anything. A lot of my posts will actually say, you know, how do you know Jody or how do you know Brandy or, you know, shop now at this site and if it's one of my consultants that I'm doing a launch for, obviously their website will be in there. So I just have to look carefully at these um, posts and make sure that I have um, taken out anything that um, is, uh, sorry, I can't even think anymore tonight anything that's identifying of one person and um, and make sure that it's the host the correct hostess's name okay so this one I'm just gonna schedule boom 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 right on top of the other one because you like to give them and I may rearrange some of these this feels like a lot of intro stuff in an already very short party so um, 
anyway this is just for you guys to see what we're doing all right so that in a nutshell is how you do it and you can see what is scheduled to go out and when these are my pending I can see what's already been posted um, and it'll walk me through everything that I've posted forever uh, collections are if I've decided to um, put things and store them all in one area together so like if I find some that I think would be great on my Facebook page put those together again my posts wherever I've created anything it saves them here and create all right if you actually hung out with me for that whole thing kudos to you I am sorry there's a lot to share and um, I am going to let this be done okay Thanks, ladies.